My name is Susanna, and I work for the Crawfordsville District Public Library. This is Sundials 101, in which I will be covering the science behind sundials, the math of how to make your own for any location, and the actual assembly of a paper sundial. Part 1. Science. How sundials work. The Earth rotates on its axis a full 360 degrees every 24 hours. As the Earth rotates in relation to the Sun, the Sun moves across the sky from east to west. Shadows point different directions depending on where the Sun is in the sky. When the Sun rises in the east, any objects in the way of the light cast shadows pointing west. When the Sun sets in the west, the shadows point east. A sundial is an old-fashioned clock that uses the position of the Sun in the sky to tell the time. There are many kinds of sundials, but we will make a simple horizontal sundial, like this one in Vincennes, Indiana. With the sundial set on a flat surface and the mark for 12 noon pointing due north, this is reversed in the southern hemisphere, the shadow cast on the sundial by the raised gnomon lines up with marks to show each hour, like the hands on a clock. The marks on the sundial have to be specially calculated for where you are on Earth. The shadows will also change based on the time of year. The Earth's axis is tilted slightly in relation to the planet's path around the sun. As the Earth revolves around the sun over the course of the year, the part of the Earth which receives the most direct sunlight changes. This is what causes the seasons. The day when the northern hemisphere is tilted closest to the sun is the summer solstice. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is tilted farthest away from the sun, making it the winter solstice. As the earth revolves around the sun, the position of the sun's path across the sky also changes. Here in the northern hemisphere, the path is very far to the south in the winter. This is the red line on the diagram while in the summer it is closer to the middle of the sky, which is the purple line. This means that shadows are longer in the winter. Because the Earth is round, the angle of the sun's path across the sky changes based on latitude, how far away from the equator you are. The path is straight up and down at the equator, bringing the sun directly overhead at noon, while at higher latitudes the path is more slanted. This means that shadows point more towards the poles at higher latitudes. The diagram shows the sun's different paths at the equator, at the North Pole, which is latitude 90 degrees north, and at a place in the middle, latitude 50 degrees north. Solar time counts 12 noon as the moment the sun is directly overhead, and since the Earth is always rotating, this moment is different for every tiny step east or west, changes in longitude. Since solar time is so hyper-local, people created time zones, large areas within about an hour of each other based on solar time that synchronize their clocks. Crawfordsville is in the eastern time zone, which is orange on the map, which means our clocks are synchronized with everyone from Maine to Michigan, all the way down to Florida. However, Crawfordsville is near the western edge of this time zone, so while the sun might rise when the clock strikes 8 in New York City, at the same time in Crawfordsville, it's still dark outside. Sundials use solar time, so depending on where you are in the time zone, the sundial might not match the clock exactly. Setting your clock forward for daylight savings time will also cause the sundial to be off. Part 2. Math. How to calculate the hour markings. The mark for each hour on the sundial is calculated using trigonometry, the mathematical study of how lengths and angles relate. The formula for the hour marking is tangent of theta equals tangent of omega times sine of phi. Theta is the angle on the sundial between the mark for some hour h and the mark for noon, which should point due north here in the northern hemisphere. And omega is the angle of the sun in the sky at hour h, determined by the formula 
omega equals the quantity h minus 12 times 15. This is because the Earth turns 360 degrees every 24 hours, and 360 divided by 24 equals 15 degrees per hour. You must use 24-hour time for this equation, so while 6 a.m. is still written as 6, 6 p.m. is written as 18 because it is 6 hours after 12 noon. Since sundials show solar time, and that does not align perfectly with clock time, it is not very useful to have minute markings. If you want to put minute markings, you still have to write the time in hours, not hours and minutes. Half an hour past 6 p.m. is not 6.30 p.m. It is written as 18.5. The angle phi is the latitude where you are on Earth. It is the first number in GPS coordinates, which are written latitude, comma, longitude. It must be written in decimal notation, so the value of phi for Crawfordsville is 40.038889 degrees. If you try to plug in the latitude written out as 40 degrees, 2 minutes, 20 seconds north, you will have a difficult time. The tangent of some angle, abbreviated tan of angle, is the relationship between the leg of a right triangle opposite the angle and the leg of a right triangle adjacent or next to the angle. Even if you don't know how long the legs of this right triangle are, you can still calculate the tangent with just the angle, because the relationship between the legs of the triangle stays the same. The sine of some angle is the relationship between the leg of the triangle opposite the angle and the hypotenuse, the longest leg of the right triangle. Plug these values into a calculator to get tangent of theta for each hour. To find theta for each hour, that is to find the angle on the sundial to draw your mark, use the reverse tangent, arctan of the quantity tangent of theta. Do this on your calculator. Part 3. Assembly. How to make a sundial. Cut out the provided protractor and the provided sundial template if desired. Otherwise, cut out a circle of stiff paper for the face of your sundial. Cardstock works well, as does the thin cardboard used for cereal boxes. To get a perfect circle, use a compass or trace around a round object like a bowl. Draw a line straight down the middle of your sundial for noon.
line up a protractor with the noon line at zero degrees to draw the other hour marks, extending them all the way from the center to the edge. The angles of the marks in the morning are negative, meaning each hour mark is so many degrees to the left or counterclockwise of the noon line. The angles in the afternoon are positive numbers, so they are to the right or clockwise of the noon line. When the sun shines from the east in the morning, it casts a shadow pointing west. And since our noon gets lined up with north in the northern hemisphere, shadows in the west are to the left of noon. This is reversed in the southern hemisphere.
For the gnomon, draw a right triangle where one angle is your latitude. Leaving extra flaps on the bottom, cut two copies of this triangle. Fold the flaps on the bottom out to either side. Tape the triangles together. On the pre-made gnomon, you will also need to fold the back flaps together to make a wedge shape. Tape the flaps to the sundial on the noon line so that the angle of latitude is in the center of the sundial, precisely where the hour lines meet, and the right angle is at the north end. Point your sundial north and enjoy! Adult take-and-make kits are available at the reference desk.